What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just gonna be a quick video on some upgrades that I'm doing to my Aerial Rider Grizzly. And uh, as you guys know, I love this bike. <laughs> it is a beast. Dual 750 watt motors in the hubs with steel gears, dual suspension, dual battery, 70 mile range. Just an absolute beast of a, an e-bike, a moped style e-bike. Absolutely love it. Been ripping through the neighborhood and up in the hills near my house on this thing. And uh, it's time to do some upgrades. So I'm going to add some BMX handlebars because these handlebars are great, but they are um, a little tall for my taste. So as great as those are and they, they do the job, I'm going to change them to uh, BMX style handlebars. And when you go with BMX handlebars, you may or may not know this. The diameter is slightly smaller than mountain bike handlebars, so I'm going to add uh, BMX stem. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put on some lock-on grips because the grips that come with the Aerial Rider are not lock-on. They're just slip-on, friction fit, and they do kind of twist and move as you get really aggressive with the bike. You know, for a commuter bike, it's fine. It doesn't move, but when you start going off-road and start lifting the front end up or even trying to jump this thing, the grips do slightly twist uh, under hard gripping. So um, lock on grips, and these are specific for um, half grip throttles. As you can see, one is shorter than the other because you have uh, part of the grip is the uh, throttle. So uh, we'll put those on. And then also I am gonna put some Tannis Armor uh, tire liners because I did get a flat when I was up near Tahoe, I uh, riding around up in the mountains. I don't know what happened, but I must have hit either a pine cone or or I don't know something sharp. I don't know what I what I hit. Something popped my tire. <laughs> Whew! That would have sucked if it was completely flat because this thing is 70 pounds. That would have really sucked. <laughs> but I couldn't find it. I don't know what it was that, that popped the tire, but it did puncture the tire. It does come with puncture resistant tires but that's puncture resistant. And uh, with the Tannis armor, I can go 20, 30, 40 miles in the back country. And for the most part, I don't have to worry about getting a puncture because the, the liners are like, I don't know, two inches thick. Tannis armor inserts. If you've never heard of these, uh, you put these inside your tire, then you put your tube inside, then you air it up. And then basically uh, it, makes a small gap between the road and your inner tube. So if there is um, like a, a goat's head thorn or any other thorn type thing that goes into your tire, it'll basically get absorbed by this material and not go into your tube. And if you do get a catastrophic flat, um, once the tire goes down, the way this is shaped, your rim will actually ride on the uh, material so you can basically use it like a run flat so you can still get home which is nice just pull them off and they come right off <laughs> oh yeah this feels different already. Man, these bars are nice. Look at that. I mean, it feels way more nimble. I, I like that. So with, with my handlebars lower, I feel like I have more control over the bike. Oh man, this is like a like a dirt bike now. Woo. 
Oh yeah, way more nimble. My hands aren't so high in the air. I can throw the bike around a little bit more too because the, the handlebars are wider. Control is way better. Wow, nice. Way more control. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. That is nice. Way more control with these handlebars. Woo! <laughs> Slid out a little bit there. Man, this is so cool. Handlebars are a game changer. It feels like a whole different bike. Oh man, yep. So there you go guys, that's a, a good example of how you can really toss this bike around with, with better handlebars. I mean the other handlebars, they're fine for cruising, but for real aggressive riding off-road, these are the ones you want right here. I also really like how the uh, controller sits right over the stem. It looks like a speedometer, like on a dirt bike. Changing the handlebars on this bike here really changes the game. With the BMX bars, they do sit a little bit lower than the chopper style bars it comes with. Not that those don't work, but they're really tall and they're narrow. With this, this is lower and wider, so you can really throw this bike around a lot more. You have a lot more confidence, a lot more control with this big, you know, 75 pound bike. And it just looks good too. I mean, it looks like a dirt bike now. That is really cool. And then the uh, lock-on grips. These were phenomenal. They don't move anymore because you have two set screws digging into the, uh, to the handlebar, so they don't move at all. Plus these are the ones with the little fat, like shelf for your palm to, to rest on. So they're really comfortable. I love that take some of the uh, pain out of your hands when you're riding a long time and then the uh, controller the controller sits right over the stem so it actually looks like a motorcycle like uh, the gauge cluster on a motorcycle so that's actually really cool and the way these bars are designed it actually opens up uh, the area here around the fork so you can actually see your lockouts even though I never locked these out uh, it just makes it look more like a dirt bike man that is cool I love it absolutely love it can't say enough about that upgrade um, when I mounted my bars just to let you guys know I mounted them straight up and down so they're not leaning forward they're not leaning back perfect up and down is how I have mine and then the uh, Tannis uh, tire armor inserts that just really makes me feel a lot more comfortable when I'm 20 miles out in the middle of nowhere you know you don't get a flat and as you guys saw <laughs> I did get a flat in the front tire when I was out near Tahoe, um, riding along the Truckee River. So uh, I made it back on a flat tire, um, but barely, barely made it back. Hope, good thing that it was a slow leak and not a complete puncture, instant puncture. But yeah, I think those, those the Tannis armor is worth every penny. Yeah, they're expensive, but once you buy them, that's it. You don't need to worry about it. I mean, could you still get a flat? Yeah, you still could. But um, now you have at least, what, one and a half, two inches of protection 
when you're far out away from home. So if you guys want to buy any of these parts, um, go ahead and click the link below. I'll try to put an Amazon link. I am an affiliate with Amazon, so you'll be supporting my channel. Uh, if you want to buy the bars, the stem, the lock-on grips, or the Tannis um, armor inserts, hopefully I can find the link and put it below the video. Uh, like I said, I am an affiliate and it supports my channel, so I appreciate it if you purchase using my links. If you guys want to buy your own Aerial Rider Grizzly, hit that link below my video and uh, you'll be able to purchase one of these for yourself. Um, I will say, because of the way the world is right now, shipping really sucks, so everybody's waiting a long time for their bikes to get in. Just be patient, they'll be there eventually. The ships and the truck drivers, they'll all do their jobs eventually and they'll get to you. So, yeah, it sucks, but that's just the way the, the world is right now. All right, guys, I hope this video was uh, educational or entertaining. And if it was, hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the upgrades that I did to the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.